this. I'm not getting the Flonase. Like, I know what the Flonase is about. This is not gonna help me. So, I go home and I rough it out for another three days. So, now we're going on two weeks and three days. So, I'm like, you understand, guys? Like, I could not do my work. I could not focus. I could not think straight. I am an awesome multitasker, but I was unable to multitask shit, okay? It was just terrible. I couldn't even focus on the simplest tasks at hand. My husband's like, listen, call the other teledoc. Like, you're gonna get a different doctor, and maybe they'll be able to help you. And I'm like, no, these doctors don't know shit. Like, I'm tired of all these doctors, like, telling me all the stupidity. No one's even understanding what's going on with me. Like, I don't have fever. I don't have a cough. I don't have sinus pressure. Like, something weird is happening. Okay. So, I finally just gave in and was like, let me try one more doctor on the phone. And I explained to her all my symptoms. I explained to her what happened. The urgent care, the antibiotics, the whole nine. She asked me a few questions. She's like, I know exactly what's going on. And I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> and she's like, I know exactly what's going on with you. And I'm like, well, please, please let us to know what is going on with me. So she's like, your body is producing too much antihistamine, which is typically used for, you know, for allergies, hence why, like, you would take a Zyrtec or Claritin or whatnot, right? So it's like your body's natural defense is coming out and trying to kick these allergies asses or these irritants or whatever the fuck is going on. Excuse my French. And she's like, you need a steroid to basically reverse that so it, like, weakens your autoimmune, doesn't make your antihistamines go up and, like, you're gonna feel much better real quick because the antihistamines are in, um, basically, like, there's a lot of inflammation going on and she's like, it needs to come out. It's just, like, stuck in your head and I'm like, well, that sounds pretty fucking accurate. Okay. So, I'm, like, being bad girl cursing today. Sorry, guys. So, anyway, so, bad girl. I'm so corny. Anyway, so, she's like, um, listen, she was a boss bitch, okay? Shout out to her. She was the best. She's like, take the, the steroids. I'm gonna prescribe you ear drops. You're gonna put that in your ears. Then I'm gonna give you, um, it wasn't Flonase. It was some other bougie shit. It was not Flonase. So, I was really excited about that. She's like, whatever the whole line up your nose. Call it a day. Okay. So, the first day I take the steroid, I do the ear drops and I do the nosy nosy. Guys, I felt like a million dollars. Like, I finally felt like myself and now we are going on two weeks and like five days so i was so excited i couldn't thank my husband enough for like pushing me to call another doctor but i was just at the point of like giving up with life i was like i don't care anymore maybe my body will just fight this but let me tell you something it was kicking my ass okay my body wasn't fighting shit my body was like in flight or fight mode and my body was like we are flighting straight to your bed like and that's exactly what happened it is what it is guys it is so weird for me to have these nails so if you want to know what's going on with these nails basically he put a dip on but my nails are actually like pretty my natural nail got really long from just doing the powder dip right if you want to grow your nails the best way to do it do the powder my 
eyebrows and it cost me $98, guys, okay? That's a lot of motherfucking money for all this shit. Like, it's cheaper for me to just do my own nails than going to get my nails done. And then guess what? Being pissed off because shit like this, shit like this happens and they don't care. Like, or there's like some nails that are uneven. I mean, granted, I'm very picky. Like, this pinky is bigger than that one. Like, what the F? Um, I mean, there's, there's other things. I'm just, when it comes to nails, I'm very, very, very picky, especially because I've been making my own. So, like, oh, guys, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to that. Like, I try to make them as nice and shiny and glossy as I can. And, like, sorry, guys, I was having a hard time with my headphones. So, anyway, like, it's not worth it for me to spend all this money and then be pissed off about the outcome. Granted, they're not bad, but like this shape isn't really me. I don't know if I'm into this square shape. I know it's like the new thing, but I don't know how I feel about the square. I'm like a coffin chick, you know what I mean? Coffin, 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 put you in your coffin. Coffin chick. So the square is a little different. I love square when your nails are really short. That's my thing, right? Um, but then I find for ASMR purposes, if, if my nails are short, it's hard for me to tap on certain things, you know, and I want a little length just so that if I tap, it sounds good for you guys, but, um, like I said, not sure how I feel about the square nails, let me know in the comments what you think about those square motherfuckers, um, I don't know, guys, weird, but anyway, so sorry, I don't mean to go on a danger about the nails, but you know the nails hit home for me, okay? So it is what it is, but hopefully we will get them all, all moving on that. Um, any other things I want to update you guys? Oh my god, I've had a few other situations with work go on. Granted, this time no nails have popped off, but if you missed that story, make sure you go check it out. Um, it's my last story time. Wow, it's been a minute since I spoke to you guys. like in the beginning once I went back to work but anyway oh by the way I don't know if you guys noticed I don't know if you noticed I'm standing up I am totally standing okay I don't want to move any of the wires around but I'm totally standing up for this video and I'm actually loving it more than sitting down not gonna lie Sorry. the pop-off situation with the nail traumatizing traumatizing okay we all know in the preschool. So I show up to this preschool and first of all they have me waiting like 15 minutes outside in the heat mind you I'm melting I'm with a ring away literally dying like I feel whatever makeup I have my, on my skin like smudging like my blush looked like I borrowed Amber Heard's um bruise kit <laughs> if you get it you get it anyway so it's like I borrowed a bruise kit and it was like starting to look like someone decked me in the face like everything was just melting off my skin because I was in like 90 degree weather and the sun was beaming on me okay so I was getting so frustrated I'm like where is this teacher it was an in-home daycare so she finally comes to the door and she's like oh my goodness I'm so sorry we were outside in the backyard in the playground I'm like lady you know I was coming at this time like why are you making me wait for so long I'm blowing up your school phone and you're not picking Okay, whatever. So I finally go in and she's like, ah, 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 ah. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, yes. She's like, listen, you need to take off your sandals. So I had these flip flops, these old navy flip flops. Crap, they were next to me before I just showed you guys. Anyway, these cute old navy flip flops and they were like strapped, you know, but no back. They're brand new. I literally just put them on, but granted, I get it. Like, I'm walking around in the street. She doesn't want me to have my shoes on. She's like, please take your shoes off. I'm like, no problem. I don't give anybody a hard time. I'm not here to give anybody a hard time. I'm just here to do my job, okay? So, I take off my flip flops. I'm walking with my feet, like, just on her bare floor. Whatever, it was clean, so I didn't care. I mean, but it is weird walking around barefoot in someone's house. 
she is making me walk around without my shoes on, which is fine. It's fine. So I'm walking around. She's like, when you're done, when I finish the assessment, she's like, come to the back. We're outside. So I'm like, okay. So I get up and I'm bringing the girl and I grab my flip flops. And when we were about to walk out into our backyard, I put the flip flops on my feet and I walk out. She's like, <gasps> she's throwing a freaking conniption. I'm looking at her like, what is the problem? She's like, how dare you? I told you not to put your shoes on in my home. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, lady, like, hold the F up. Like, first of all, back up. And I was like, I didn't say that. So I put it in my head. That was like my initial reaction. And I'm like, okay, like, all right, gay, like, bring it down a couple of notches. You're working. Like, keep it professional. So I said, well, listen, I'm so sorry, but you did tell me you were outside. So I didn't want to walk on the concrete barefoot. So I put my slippers and she's like, well, my floor is not concrete. And then I looked down and she had like this fake grass. So I said to her, how am I supposed to know? Have I been here before? This is the first time I'm here. Like, bear with me. I'll take them off once I leave. She was irking me, guys. It was so bad. So, so bad. And then she was just like grilling me up and down. And I'm like, here we go. Like, like just give me your concerns for the child. Let me just observe the kid. Let me do my job and let me leave. But that's what I ended up doing. And as I was walking out, all of a sudden, she decided she was going to follow me. I don't know if it was the scene that I took my shoes off or if she just felt like a bitch from the backyard because she was like scolding me in front of her assistant teacher, which is like, lady, like, you're, you're not my boss. Like, last time I checked, you were not my boss. Take a chill pill, but whatever. So she comes running out just being like a super sweet. I'm like, oh, hell no. I kept it professional, but also very short. I'm like, have a great day. And I literally walked out and she was talking to me about something and I was out. I'm like, no, like you're not going to be nasty to me. And then try to kiss my ass, sweet cheeks. Not happening. The next situation was a little traumatizing. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I go to this apartment building because granted I have to go to homes also. I think I told you. Yeah, I did tell you I have to go to schools, homes, shelters, wherever. Sometimes I can even do it in the library. So I go to this home and I get on the elevator. I was paying attention that the elevator was like wacky out of order. They were recommending for people to not use it. So I'm like, of course my dumb ass goes on it. Do you know, like, I don't know that elevators could be wonky all the time or whatever. I just assume that people come there and check it out like every six months or whatever. Okay, so I get in this elevator and I click four, because that's where your girls go into apartment 4F. So I click four, the thing starts taking off. All of a sudden it stops on two. And we're not moving. The doors are not opening. Mind you, this is a hot summer day in New York. I'm talking like 90 degrees. And there is no air conditioner in this elevator. Let me give you a little descriptive, 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 descriptive narrative, I guess, about how the elevator was. So first of all, it smelled like four people may have threw up within the last 24 hours, but it got cleaned, but the stench is still there. Then it smells like 10 people forgot that they had a bathroom in their apartment, or they were just so drunk or so messed up that they decided to pee in the elevator. So it reeked, and then there was like those little like poop mosquitoes, the one that likes to chill on top yeah, there was like two of them chilling with me. And I'm like, popping and weaving them. Okay. So, we're stopped at two. Screw the, the urine scent. Screw the throw up scent. Screw the mosquitoes at this point. Because I'm not even thinking about that. I'm thinking about the elevator. Stop the two. The doors are not opening. I'm clicking a thousand things. Nothing is working. I start panicking. But I have to say, I'm very good. Like, if there's like a situation, I'm really good at being calm, but I started panicking, I guess, because I've never been in this type of situation, but not bad, I'm not panicking bad, I'm just like, okay, like, let's just chill, let's be patient, this thing is older than life itself, like, clearly, like, you know, maybe this elevator's just having a bad day, like, we're, we're gonna be okay, so I'm hitting one, and I'm hitting, and I'm pushing, and I'm pushing, and I'm pushing, and I'm pushing one, and nothing, so I'm like, okay, we're gonna go to three, bitch, so I'm pushing three, I'm pushing three, I'm like, you gotta go up, if you're not gonna go down, you're gonna go out, so I'm hitting three, hitting it, hitting nothing. So I'm like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. So now it's like five minutes has gone on, but it's gone by, but it has felt 
am I really gonna make a scene right now? Should I give it another five more minutes? So, just when I'm about to hit the freaking button, like, I just lifted on my hand. I mean, I wasn't touching it yet, but I was lifting on my hand. All of a sudden, the elevator, like, jerks, brings me back down to one, opens the doors, and the doors never close. I run out of that freaking thing, and the doors are, like, wide open, and they're, like, going, grr, 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 like, making, like, this weird, grr, grr, grr. okay, now I sound like Cardi B, but making, like, this weird-ass freaking sound, like, it's stuck. He got me out because that would have been so freaking embarrassing. Like I was stuck somewhere on two God knows where. Imagine I had to climb. Like I have no upper body strength. Like, like no, no, zero, none, zilch. Like not even for the life of me. If I was getting chased by Michael Myers with a knife and I had to propel myself up over something, you're, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. I'm dead dead okay so i mean if i have to use my legs or my lower body why am i whispering like soft spoken if i have to use my legs or my lower body i have a chance but if i have to use my upper body like oh my goodness like don't don't count on me to save your life because i would just lay there and give up it's big ass sign that i should have read before entering the elevator Never again moving forward. I am going to double, triple, double check about the elevators because your girl's not having it. So, what do I do? I take the stairs to get to the fourth flight of stairs. I was in cardiac arrest by the time I got up there because your girl hasn't worked out in centuries and I really need to. And I just, I know I was dead. I was like, like I felt my heart like beating. I gained weight during the pandemic, so that does not help me at all. So I really need to get into it. But it's just I have no motivation, guys. Zero such like it's so bad. I wish I was more driven with um taking care of myself. I mean, well, I guess working out because I, I take care of my skin and my hygiene and things like that, obviously. But in terms of working out, I wish I had that, that drive to do it. I doing everything the right way and stuff like that but when it comes to like working out i don't have it i don't know why i need to somehow get it so if you know how i could get it someone please give me the tips and tricks on that i feel like because i am getting older too i want to be make sure i still stay agile in a sense because when i work with these kids i'm like rolling around on the floor i'm squatting i'm up i'm down i'm left i'm right so i'm like i'm constantly moving I have to sit on like little baby chairs. Granted, one ass cheek fits, the other one just chills on the other side. But like, you know, I still do what I gotta do. It's just as I'm getting older, I'm noticing how this could be more difficult for me. Like, what am I gonna do when I hit my 50s? <laughs> I better start doing yoga or something. Like, like I don't know, move my legs left, right, do some exercises. Like, I need to start stretching because lately I notice if I'm like in a squatting position for like. sensory thing. 
so I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So our hand washing took about 20 minutes, but it's okay, it's all good. I did get to all my cases late because of that, but it's okay. And I bring him back and I'm putting, getting going to get my book and he sneezes again. Guys, I swear to you, he missed me by this much. And I'm like, come on, baby, cover your mouth. Cover, like, cover, like, come on, does mommy show you? Cover, you know, like, I'm, I'm trying to cover, like, I'm, I'm dabbing him, like, just trying to show him or, like, cover, you know, at least that or something. <laughs> he was so cute. 